Drawing as a medium for expression is vital in the representation of ideas, thoughts, composition, form, materiality and sensation in the discipline of design. But what is design and what is a designer? Design as a verb comes from the Latin designare, meaning to mark out, point out, devise, choose, designate or appoint. Design as a noun or an object originates in Middle French, design, meaning a scheme or plan in the mind, an intention to act in a particular way. At their root, these words indicate a call to action, a level of decisiveness, and a representation of an ideology or a desired outcome. One of the most important parts of design is to follow your own path. As we grow up, we develop a lot of preconceived ideas about what someone should do and how they should do it. One of the luxuries of a design degree and a design profession is the versatility in the outcome, experience and interdisciplinarity. In this subject, we look simultaneously at the theories, logics and pragmatics of design. You will learn in lectures about design history, developments of theories, ideologies and practices over the last few centuries. And then in workshops, undertake assignments and tasks that allow you to fully explore these theories. It's important that whilst there is a level of rigidity to comply with learning outcomes, that we allow you to manipulate the tasks to your interests and your skills. So we do these by taking a five-fold approach. It sounds intense, I know, but really it's a logical and deeply connected trajectory, much like the design process. First, we start with theory and history. All good designers should draw on history in their process. The best way to know if something is going to work is to look for those that have come before you. So we call this a precedent. Concurrently, we explore methods of representation. So the basis of this starts with traditional 2D drawing skills, the literal putting of pen to paper. Here, we look at perspective, atmosphere, logic, form and order. All of these notions can be extracted literally or abstractly. From this, we move on to 3D design, employing digital measures to represent the extrusion into a volume of the designs that you've developed by hand. From here, we jump back into hand modeling and hand building, this time with a different medium through model making. Lastly, we finish the semester with an exploration of the fourth dimension. So that is time and atmosphere. If you ever look at the work of Dutch still life artists representing fruit in their paintings, you'll see what we mean. Here, the artists will show the representation of reality, environment and conditions in their artworks through things like mold, decay, shriveling, the representation of imperfection in an otherwise perfect scenario. Ultimately, it is through this process that we begin to extract our understanding of design, representation, thought and stance. Design at its core is universal. Anyone can be a designer, but not everybody can be a great designer. Design is about relationships, about weaving ideas, extracting information, referencing the past, the future, and the present. Think of designing like a piece of paper, thousands of fibers all fused together over time and process into a unified and cohesive shape. And thus we come full circle, back to one of the first mediums for drawing, the page. If this was the story of your life, how does your next chapter begin?